Folks, during the apocalypse, no one is safe, even at the North Pole. And our guests today are the creators of The Last Christmas. It's a comic book. It's uh, gory. Comedian Brian Posehn and Jerry Duggan. Jerry, nice see uh, your, your fans right here. I'm sorry, they were pounding on the limo yeah. earlier. Yeah, they are crazy. My apologies for that. They want, they want to have your children, actually. I hear them. Which is odd, because there's not a woman among that bunch. I want to have my children. I yeah, know. you should. You should. Post-apocalyptic Christmas story. Uh, it's, it's May. Uh-huh. I don't know if you guys are aware. Awkward time to maybe release a, well, a Christmas tale? It's not a Christmas tale. It's an apocalypse tale. Yeah, hopefully the book's other flavor and is really of the moment. Right, yeah. and it's always time for the apocalypse. Sure, any yeah. given moment. All year round. But this is, this is the apocalypse with some mistletoe? What's, what's the story going on here? It's, uh, yeah, it's, look, if we waited till Christmas, we might not get the book out the way things are going. So yeah, right there now might not be a time. Christmas yeah. in real life. Right. Or anyway. a comic industry by the time we get around. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So how does this work? You it's guys basically are... Mad Max. The whole idea is Mad Max in a Santa suit. That's, that was the core of the idea, and then everything else came from there. But we were just laughing. We were playing Halo, of all things. Sure. And, uh, Stone Cold Sober. Yeah, as yeah. far as you know. Of course. And, uh, yeah. As far as, yeah, the audience knows. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's right, kids. <laughs> anyway, we're playing the Halo. <laughs> He's talking about Santa Claus. And I just go, dude, Mad Max, Santa Claus. And, and right. uh he laughed really Is hard. Is there some like Elvish Thunderdome scene? Or will we get to anything with that? That's in the sequel, the second sequel. Okay. Yeah. It's going to be sweet. Now, this, it, it didn't start off as a comic, though, when you were talking about it, right? It started off as a, as a screenplay. Yes. Yeah, we wrote it as a feature and then really decided that uh, we really needed to show people this and not really trust that anyone would get it on their desk and immediately go, this is a film that I have to make. Yeah, this is the kind of idea you've got to hold somebody's hand. You get, right, walk them through it. Here we go. Especially it's, over there in Holly Weird. Uh, right. <laughs> so, did you, did you they're have, not that smart. Did you have an elevator yeah, pitch yeah. For, the, for the movie that was, listen, we were playing Halo, I thought. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Tina yeah. Turner, Mad Max, Santa <laughs> yeah, Claus, yeah. and they were like, wait, we're not quite Dude, sure. Leave Tina Turner out of it. Okay, yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah, she doesn't, she doesn't belong anywhere near this. You guys, uh, you guys didn't meet during a match of Halo, though, right? You, you, match.com or MySpace, how'd you guys hook up? We were uh, J Date? I don't know. The, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. A uh, Russian mail order bride yeah, type yeah. side. Brian was obviously lying. Yeah. We met at a comical book shop yeah. where they sell comical books. Oh. Yeah, and I went, I like comical books. And he worked there selling them. And, uh, yeah, it was, uh, I, you were doing Super Nerds with uh, Patton, and uh, I helped them build the set and then sort of uh, found some other jobs at that production company. And, and it wasn't too long after that we had that idea. It was, so, yeah, I mean, how many, this old. is issue, I mean, one of one that's out there now, one right? Five, but it's going to be yeah. one of five. Yeah, yeah so. one of five. Uh, and, and are you hoping to have it wrapped up around the holiday season or something like that? Yeah, we think issue five will be in stores in October, and then the uh, collection will be uh, in comic shops in November. Yeah, uh, and hope to have it, like, in borders and places like that where you can, you know, and get it online. And, right. What about the And give it to first, somebody though? who it might be inappropriate for, like, give it to an eight-year-old. and Yeah. <laughs> Watch their whole world come crashing down this around is, them. This is what happens when you don't leave a milk and cookies. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. You're going to get piano wire yeah, around the it's neck. It's not for kids at all, and uh, I hope some kids read it. But now, I mean, it, this could this could <laughs> spoil right? the. Uh... Of course, is that yeah. appropriate? No, yeah, kids no. are definitely going to read it. The, the shooting of uh, shooting of Dasher is, is also brilliant as well. Uh -huh. hey. You guys really you pull no punches in this. I mean, you got uh, decapitated elves, you got you know disemboweled uh, uh -huh. uh, henchmen. But what's is it? Are you just going to make it as gory as possible? Or do you just want to make Mother proud? Yeah, but there's also a story there that we yeah. really want to tell, and there's heart to it, you wouldn't think, but uh, <laughs> yeah, it's we, coming. It, it, <laughs> we, we redeem everything. There's a, one boy that still believes in Christmas and Santa, and uh, you're going to meet him soon in, in the second issue. And uh, Is Santa going to shake, not, not to get into spoilers, but he's going to shake his suicidal tendencies before uh, issue two? Because, I mean, he tries to kill himself 16 different ways in, in right. issue number one. Right, so. yeah, he... Uh, yeah, he starts to turn around in issue two. He's a much better giver than he is a, a receiver. So when he starts to finally, uh, you know, drop it, it'll, it'll be fun. Good. Yeah. Uh, I mean, why Santa? Is there something? What did you have like a horrible experience when you found out that Santa might not be real? You know, some, there's word no. on the street. I think I caught on pretty early because, uh, you know, most kids they have their dad can put on a Santa suit, but I didn't have a dad, so 
and I didn't live in a house. Ah. So it's like harder to <laughs> harder to fall for that when it's your mom climbing through a window wearing a beard. That's just, <laughs> that's just odd. A little bit. A little that's bit. That's hard to believe. But he's, he visits trailers. He's not. He doesn't uh-huh. discriminate. I didn't live in a trailer. No, I'm just saying. I'm saying he'll he'll visit any type of place. This interview's just over. <laughs> you should rip off the mic and walk off. That'd be that'd be great. Uh, what about you? Any uh, any any crazy? When when did you find out? Uh, I found out uh, Mike Hayes told me, and uh, I got him back. I made him eat an, e- an acorn. I told him they were really sweet, and he actually <laughs> ate it, and like his wa- eyes watered up. And I would rather have Santa back, but I still sure. got to watch it's a kid a- eat an acorn. So it's take that, Mike Hayes. It's kind of a wash. Is, is Mike Hayes gonna, ruiner? Is he going to pop up in issue number four? <laughs> yeah, he uh, a zombie guts him. Awesome, we'll gentlemen. Thank you so much for coming. And on. we make him eat an acorn. Right, the ultimate, the ultimate. Uh, Thank you guys for coming on. I appreciate it. Pleasure having you guys. Everybody, it's The Last Christmas, and it's in comic book stores everywhere. And, of course, you can visit thelastchristmas.com for even more info.